Yo, what's up guys here? It's GTA Pupster here and welcome back to another GTA 6 news video. In today's video, we are going to be going over a big leak that came up on GTA 6, including potential release date, story mode updates, and more. So let's get right into today's video. Sorry about my phone. But anyway, so this article was released on Reddit about a week ago or so, and it was this reputable leaker that he apparently been had great sources with Rockstar and had a lot of information to tell us. So basically, I'm going to read this all to you. It might sound long when I'm reading it, but it's actually short in the long run. So let's start it right there start it out like this to make this very clear this is just not a quote-unquote leak post with a blurred fan list there are infos that I have gathered and cross-checked with various sources with the industry mods are free to DM me about details on my sources I will respond by saying the department plus professional they are coming from and etc he said that he didn't want to, you know, didn't want to release his name because of this in a long run. So let's get into this story. Let's start. As the N2295 and Tez funds already tentatively hinted at the next GTA Online update, it's going to be Cops and Crooks game mode. It's currently scheduled for June slash July. There's a little twist to this, but I'm not going to spoil it. Red Dead Redemption will get a smart delivery. For Xbox Series X, I'm almost certain it will be announced on May 7th at the Inside Xbox event. Red Dead Online had an update scheduled for last month, but they had to delay it due to the problems with testing and the current pandemic affecting workflows. Instead, they are merging into the next one, which should come very soon. The GTA 5, on the other hand, will not get a next-gen version. You'll get to know why. Grand Theft Auto 6 was scheduled to release. Beware. This is just Rockstar's Intel release date. These get pushed away very often, in October of 2021. There's been a bit of the bash between Jason and Yan due to the conflicting information. Grand Theft Auto 6 was about 67% done, but because Rockstar considered feedback for Red Dead Redemption 2, some portions of the game are being redone, story is expanded further, and they are cleaning up edges. An additional time is used to set up the ongoing DLC support. Mission design is especially being overhauled to often more open approach. Rockstar really took the feedback on the RDR2 to, to heart. Also, they didn't have to delay it. But they choose to take their time because constant GTA online revenue also allows them to. People are talking about a decayed builder game as in Rockstar knows that the game will be their GTA for the upcoming decade, so they're pouring everything into it to make sure it will be the GTA game. GTA Online was never built in expansion in mind. GTA 6 is 100% and is and will be launching with plenty of content to begin with as well. They're planning to preparing to support it later down the line as well. This means update for story content and online. Pre-COVID-19, the target date for GTA 6 was October 21 to February 22nd, February 2022 to October 2021. Sorry about that. It's unclear as how far things are being pushed back because of COVID-19, but Rockstar has taken the great care to make sure their employees remain healthy by sending out insurances about the company's ongoing commitment to minimize crunch regular milestone updates, as well as gift packages sent to the employees at home. So anyway, guys, that is the run-up of the story. It is pretty interesting. I actually never read, like, this leak at all or any leaks in the future, so this is basically my first big one. Now, we did hear from the insiders about this. Yan2295 chimed in and said, I'd be curious to know what the little twist, quote-unquote, to Cops and Crooks is. Maybe that could help verify the legitimacy of your post. Well, yes, that is unfortunately something that, you know, got to my mind. What is actually the little twist of Cops and Crooks? I mean, we did in the future got a leak about what the Cops and Crooks would be. I know people basically know what it would be. You know, you would have a bad side to the cops and a good side to the cops. 
but we just never know what the little twist would be. And I think Yan wanted to ask this question because you don't know if this guy's fake. He's saying that, you know, he had sources from Rockstar himself. But anyway, I think he just wanted to get someone to come out on this because, you know, he was very optimistic on this. Also, Yan did chime in to someone else that responded to him, and they said, Yan, any updates on this supposed real leak you replied to on Reddit? You asked the guy to confirm his legitimacy, and he didn't sound like he wanted to say any more than he already did. Yan comments and says, the guy didn't reply to neither me or the mods. His quote-unquote leak really have anything that makes it look legit to me. Now, what he says legit, you know, we did, he already put the stuff that basically Jason said, so that that is funny that he did say that, but the big news that we got from this is the release date type of deal, I think, you know, they're, they're saying 2021 to 2022, that would make sense because of COVID-19, what's going on in the world, so I could see them pushing back a game. I also could see them, you know, making big story updates. You know, they want to make GTA 6 the best game to, to run off of GTA 5. They want it to make better than GTA 5, I mean. So, you know, that makes that I think, that's the part that I think those are legit me, legits. I don't know anything about Red Dead Redemption. I did play, you know, the campaign campaign mode before, but I really don't know anything they're talking about this. But they were saying, you know, about how a DLC for Red Dead Redemption will be coming out. And that does make sense, too, because of COVID. Maybe, you know, they wanted to, like, have something that to release before COVID, but then it started, so they had to push it back. So that's pretty legit itself. But what got to me is they said that Red Dead Redemption will get a smart delivery for the Xbox Series X on May 7th. But that event already happened, and nothing did come out on this. Anyway... Uh, Ted's Funds 2 did chime in on this and he said that guy is obviously a member of the community. I don't want to jump to conclusions but all that sounds sim similar to someone I know. Now I don't know the guy that he says he knows in the community but Tez seems to be you know quote unquote that he thinks a lot of this is real. I know Tez is a good leaker and he's good in the GTA community. And it sounds like he's knowing his stuff that this article that the guy, quote unquote, knows something from Rockstar, he thinks a lot of the stuff is actually, you know, legit. And, you know, some of it I think is legit too, and some of it I don't think is legit at all. Now, uh, we did hear from the mod or the moderator of where this article got posted on Reddit, and it basically said approve with OP attempts to verify this information to me. So I guess he did verify to the mod, and everything is clear. So when it comes to leaks and all this, I always have, you know, a, a slim percentage of if it's real or not, because the only way we know it's real, if it's coming from Rockstar, and we will have to see if this little twist is real, what Rockstar has in store. So I want to hear from you in the comment section down below. What do you think about this article? Again, I will leave this article and another in-depth article down below in the description. So if you do have time to read it, you can go ahead. So if you did enjoy this video, a like rating would be awesome. Remember to subscribe to my channel right now because I am doing a subscriber challenge. We are one wet subscriber away from 10. But our goal for May is 20 subscribers. I know we can do it. And also remember to post that post notification bell so you never miss a GTA video. My name is Pup here, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.